CM Punk returned to Raw. He brought the ratings with him and with that, the highest rated quarter of the show. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. The Raw quarter numbers are in. And surprise, surprise, once again, CM Punk involved in the highest rated quarter. Quarter five, CM Punk, it was his quarter. It did the highest numbers. Seems to be a trend. Every time Punk comes back, we get a spike in the raw ratings. He's he's normally involved in the highest quarter, if not one of the highest quarters. And he's normally doing the best numbers on YouTube. Albeit, sometimes, lately, he's been surpassed by Lib Morgan, Mysterio, or, yeah, Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio, and Rhea Ripley, which kind of shows you how good of a job that angle's doing, that it sometimes does better numbers than CM Punk, who, apart from The Rock, has been pretty untouchable since coming back to WWE in that department. But anyway, let's go through Raw then, we'll have a look at these numbers. So quarter one, 8 o'clock to 8.15, it was the Good For Live promo. We got the angle with Damien Priest and then the brawl backstage between Gunther and Priest. This did a 1.786. Quarter two, we got 8.15 to 8.30. Dragonov versus Breaker, 2% increase to 1.827. Uh, quarter three, post-match with the Judgment Day backstage angle. Drew McIntyre and Adam Pearce backstage. We got Akira Tosawa, Otis, Maxine Dupree, and Ashivia Woods backstage. And then we got Sonya Deville versus Lyra Falkyria. Um, no gain here. It did go up 6,000 to 1.833, but not enough to go up a full 1%. So, not really surprising. You got Judgment Day in here, Maxine, uh, Drew McIntyre in here as well. So, pretty much, you know, decent people. Bringing in decent numbers. Quarter 4, 8.45, 9 p.m. We've got DeVille versus Valkyria. We've got Katana Chance, Caden Carter and Shayna Baszler with Zoe Stark and um, the Wyatt Six video as well. This went down 3%. Again, hardly surprising. DeVille versus Valkyria. Nobody cares. You throw in Katana Chance and Caden Carter alongside Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Uh, you, you're asking for the numbers to go down. And they did. Quarter 5, 9 o'clock to 9.15, it was CM Punk, McIntyre, Pierce, and Seth Rollins with a live promo. We then got the Judgment Day, Lev Morgan backstage angle. And this was the highest rated quarter of the show with a 1.935 million and 837 in the key demo. So, Raw doing well with this uh, feud, Punk, McIntyre, Pierce. Obviously, Seth Rollins got involved. He is the special guest referee. And then after that, you had Judgment Day and Lib Morgan. So, uh, a very strong quarter, quarter five. And when you look at the people that were involved, no surprise that this was the highest rated quarter in both Fearship and Key Demo. I don't really like the fact they put Seth Rollins into this um, title, not title, this referee, special referee picture. I think it takes away from the match. I don't think Seth Rollins needs to be there. McIntyre versus Punk is big on its own. It is huge, and we don't need some, you know, feminine girl lookalike, you know, Fanny. Let's be honest, in in the middle of the ring, you know, taking trying to take the spotlight away from those two. I just don't see it. I don't see why they put Seth Rollins in there, but they have. Quarter six, Sami Zayn backstage promo, Judgment Day angle, Gio Sotasawa, Otis and Woods versus the te final testament. Then we got Chad Gable backstage with the Creed Brothers. This went down three percent to one point eight seven eight million. Quarter seven, nine thirty to nine forty five, Gable Otis live promo. We got an angle with Tosawa. We got the Creed Brothers. We got Dupree Wyatt six, and this went down one percent. Again, it's. I mean, not a lot happening here. You've got Chad Gable and Otis, Big Wow, the Creed Brothers coming down to bore us all. I mean, who cares? Down 1%. Right, quarter 8, 9.45 to 10pm. It was Pete Dunne, Bronson Reed and Sheamus with a live angle. We then got Judgment Day backstage with a Sheamus backstage promo. And then the Rhea Ripley, Dominic Mysterio and Lib Morgan live promo. This went up 3%. To 1.928 million in the fuelship, and then in the key demo, it went up to 835. 
So it got very close to quarter five. Once again showing that the best thing going on Raw right now is 100% this love triangle. It's Ripley, Mysterio, Morgan. And maybe not so much Ripley because she's been away and she hasn't really been involved. But we'll include her anyway because she is part of it. But yeah, this is the biggest thing they've got going. This, in my opinion, in the numbers, the numbers suggest this surpasses CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. So yeah, they, they need to start pushing this more. And to be fair, they have been. But then we go into quarter nine, the top of the hour. This is a pretty good slot. And normally this is the last big slot, big rating before we see the dip. 10 o'clock to 10.15, Selena Fager ramp promo, and then Fager versus Zoe Stark. This went down 12%. 12% down to 1.705 million. So this just shows you that 123,000 people tuned out. After the Liv Morgan ship, 223,000 people didn't want to see this. So that, that's, a, that's a big loss. It just tells you that the, the Lib Morgan stuff's good, the Lib Morgan stuff's hot, Morgan's hot, pun intended, and this stuff isn't. I mean, Selena Vega versus Zoe Stark, nobody cares. Quarter 10, we get the continuation of that match, we then got a bunch of women coming out, didn't do anything for me. Uh, McIntyre backstage angle, we got Deville again, more women, Deville, Baszler, Zoe Stark, Unholy Union, people that just do not draw, 1.696 million. Uh, quarter 11, 10.30 to 10.45, we get GSO and Sami Zayn taking on Balor and McDonough. This went down 4% to 1.629 1 million. And then quarter 12, the final quarter, 10.45 to 11pm, it was GSO and Sami Zayn taking on Finn Balor and JD McDonough. And then we got the post-match with Braun Breaker. And this went up 2% to end the final quarter with a 1.66 million and it topped off Raw with a 1.793 million. So we, we can see where the highest rated quarters are. We, we can see what people are interested in. And we can see what people are not interested in. And the big 12% you know, decline after the Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, Dominic Mysterio, Love Triangle promo. It just shows you that people are tuning in. People want to see that. And they don't want to see what follows it. And you can't blame them because... Who cares about Selena Vega versus Zoe Stark? So there you go, guys. There's the numbers, um, decent numbers. But yeah, I think CM Punk's no longer the biggest draw on Raw. Uh, because yes, he was involved in the biggest quarter, but so was Liv Morgan. So was the Judgment Day. And you just look at the numbers. I think CM Punk's still the biggest draw. But in terms of the storyline, I think that the Liv Morgan, Dominic Mysterio stuff at the moment has surpassed what Punk is doing with Drew. So yeah, that's my opinion. Let me know your opinion down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.